I'm going to India after one and a half years. It's been so long. That's just mind blowing for me. It's like I'm going to India all over again for the first time. And we're in Pune and Mumbai. So come with me. I'll take you through the fantastic land of India. guys so I'm finally here in Mumbai I reached yesterday and I was just dead after my 14 hour flight I was just recovering and sleeping ate some good food and this is the second day and we're out here at 7 in the morning to see the gateway of India and I'm here in Mumbai looks gorgeous in the morning it's not too hot I like the weather and it's nice and sunny you can finally wear my <laughs> clothes outside without it being cold anymore come with me I will show you the gateway of India on the left here you can see the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel it's huge and magnificent and on the right here you have the gateway of India that's where we're going lots of people here at 7 in the morning we got up early thinking we could skip the crowd but I guess that does not happen in Mumbai of course What are you eating? This is mutton kheema and this is red slice. And uh, we are having from the so famous Olympia cafe, which is located in Kolam. <laughs> so let me have a quick taste of it because I'm eating it for the first time. <laughs> mm. okay. Yeah. Colonies, which is in Kolaba itself. It's it's sort of like a backpackers hostel, but me and my friend have got a separate room, and we're not staying in the dorms. I'll show you around this place. It's got some games. It's a guitar. Some books like the vibe at night pictures I like the terrace I mean I would say everything in Mumbai is seriously overpriced because of the area and everyone knows that everything is expensive in Mumbai so this place for two days uh, is costing us around 10,000 so it's like 5,000 per day which would be insane for a backpackers hostel in Kerala but this is Mumbai we got up super early to go see the gateway of India so it would be crowded but it was closed and there are already so many people so that was a flop <laughs> and so now one of our friends are coming at 9 and it's just like 8 in the morning so we have nothing to do so we're just gonna play some Games here at the hostel. Gonna play Guess Who and kill some time. We picked up a friend from the station and headed over to the very famous Chhatrapati Shivaji Museum and on the way we explored the local food 
scene which looks so good but I unfortunately had a bad tummy since last night so I had to skip that but I do definitely recommend just experiencing that whole food scene which is really fun and looks so good and if you are from India itself go ahead dig in and have an amazing time the food is just absolutely delicious It's a new day in Mumbai and today we are headed over to the Mangaldas market for some sari shopping. Let's go! And let's talk about like three or four pieces max. That's it. Guys, when you're in Kulaba, I definitely recommend you visit the Montecar Cafe. They have authentic Mumbai food as well as continental dishes. The vibe is just great and it's a much loved cafe by locals and tourists alike. So it's been like two days now since I've been in Mumbai and it's just been so absolutely crazy, like for real. On the first day when I came here, I was really overwhelmed with all the hustle and the bustle, all the chaos and all the people. Now I am so addicted to this energy here and this whole vibe. Like it's so electrifying. People are just out and about on the streets, trying to make it work, making you know, doing anything to sell stuff and people 
buying things there's so much energy and it's so lively like you can just go out on the streets till like 10 at night and just have a good time especially if you're a girl and you like street shopping and generally i felt it's very safe here i didn't have any issues i mean i was with my guy friend so it might be a different experience if you're a girl alone as well but now it's peaceful here and really calm and i'm getting used to this whole energy here it takes a while but i think once you get used to it it can be really addictive and after that you get so used to it the fast-paced life that you know you go somewhere else a little quieter things can get boring way too fast but mumbai is definitely a unique experience and a once in a lifetime opportunity to experience a culture where you can find you know the most fanciest and richest people living equally with you know very you know, the poor people and they all just live together in this beautiful harmonic chaos chaotic life that they have and it's just perfectly in sync uh, it's crazy and i don't think you'll find this anywhere else in the world so that's that's an experience of a lifetime i would say and i do enjoy it would i stay in mumbai permanently probably not i'm a little bit old for that i need some peace and quiet now but if i was 18 maybe yes really depends what kind of vibe you're into so anyway tomorrow we're going to Pune so I'm excited for that as well because I've heard that's very like a calm chill vibe there so yeah let's see how it goes